All right, now we're on 3.2.7. Like I said, I got out of Code HS and went back into Canvas right here so I can get into this assignment and get credit for it. We'll launch the external tool, which is Code HS. And again, they're going to give us the explanation of the assignment. We'll get there. But I'm going to get started and let's get rid of this. It says we got to copy and paste the code here. So we're looking for the code from 3.1.6, which is the uh, was was one of the assignments that we did last time. It's the endangered animals skeleton that we started last lesson. Yeah, so it's from the last lesson, 3.1, right? But 0.6. So I went back, I copied and pasted the code in here, which is this code right here. And remember, even last time, most of this code was given to us, so that's good. But uh, that's complete, so it looks like we got two more things to do in this assignment. Um, it says we'll create a cascading style sheet rule to make the level one heading tags have a font color. This, now remember, red, green, blue, right? So there's no red, a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. So we're expecting some greenish blue color, whatever that is. Well, good news is they've already the inside the head the metadata for the um, for the web page. They've already put in a style sheet for us. So all we got to do is put in the level one heading. So H1, just like it's showing with the body with the fancy brackets, and then we just got to put in. Hey, we want this color to be this specific um, hex code color, which again it looks like it's going to be a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. So that's going to be color colon. This, uh, we'll, we'll put this number in with the semicolon at the end. There it is, color, colon, there's the color that we want, specific to the level one heading tag. Now, we're gonna check this, so let's go to the output. We're, we'll come back to this, but let's go to the output. And this is what we're given from before. Let's go and reload this so we can see what changes. Now, the level one heading tag, that's the end end endangered animals right there. It should change colors. Again, I'm expecting it to be a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, green greenish bluish. I guess it's going to be dark blue. Whatever. That's fine. So that I'm expecting this to change. Oh, it did change. Yeah. Well, I guess that was a, a little bit of blue and a little bit of, a little bit of green right there. Uh, but not a lot of it. So that's I guess that's why it's appearing black. Because most, most of the color is taken out, right? So there's mostly black. That did change, by the way. So that's why I put that note there. I, I forgot that I did that. That did not change very much, but it did change a little bit. That's what it looks like. Okay. Well, from there, let's go and change the level heading two tags, uh, font color to this. So again, it's a little bit of red, a little bit more green, a little bit more blue. Uh, heck, I don't really know what color that's going to be, but it's going to be fairly dark because, again, these numbers are fairly low. Uh, but again, let's start with the H2. So H2 is going to have a fancy brackets. It should close with the fancy brackets as well. There it is. Now we can put the font color. So color, colon, just like we did up here, we're just going to copy and paste this hex code in there. There it is. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. We got, we got the color and colon with the specific color they want to use. Then we go to output so that we can see how this changes. I cl click on reload. Again, I don't, I don't really know what color this is going to be. It should be fairly dark, though. But these, uh, level 2 heading, that's these ones. Lowland, Anoa. Mountain and Noah and these other ones, they should change into um, whatever color this is. Okay, now again, that didn't change very much, just like this one didn't change very much, but it did change a little bit. This one's a little bit more no noticeable. And as it turns out, that's all I want in this assignment. So I click on Submit and Continue. I get all my check marks, that's great. Click on Submit and Continue, boom, takes me to the next section, which we don't need to do today. That's it, that's all we're gonna do for today. Next time we'll do 3.3, but um, that's all we got for today. So good job. If you followed along, you should have the assignment done. Um, but for now, you should be able to re rewind the video if you need to and go back and check any of the code as well.